guys, what the heck is up? Welcome back to my channel. So today is actually, if you're clicking on this video, before I talk at all, this is the last video I am posting before I announce the giveaway winner of Britmas. 2019 so if you have not entered it if this is the first video you're clicking on or you just forgot or you didn't realize I was doing a giveaway I'm doing a giveaway <clears throat> I do it every year to give back to you guys around the Christmas time and I'm announcing the winner tomorrow so go it's I'll link it down below go enter it it's free it's cool just why wouldn't you but <laughs> It is the last day before the last day of Britmas, which is absolutely insane, which is more insane. What is more insane is that I filmed this video or like the, the main part of this video on November 8th or 9th. And now it is December 22nd when I'm filming this. Why I waited this long to post this video, which I've been so excited to post, I don't know. But today we are here to talk about my first ever experience at Disney World, but more importantly, what the Very Merry Mickey Christmas Party was like. And I think I got the name right. It's been a month and a half since I was there. If I butchered it, sorry, I don't think I did. But I went to Florida for the first time, and whenever you go to Florida, you have to go to Disney World. Like, you just have to. And I was able to cross it off my bucket list to see a Disney theme park during Christmas. I've seen Disneyland at Halloween, which was incredible, and I just have always wanted to see Disney at Christmas. And it was so beautiful and the best way to start the Christmas season. I started off, I wanted to talk a little bit about Epcot because they did have the food and wine festival going on and I did get to go to that, which was so fun. So I got a couple clips of that, which I'm just going to talk over because this isn't the focus of the video, but I went with my family and my best friend who all live, my best friend lives in Orlando, my cousin and her boyfriend live in Tampa, and me and my aunt flew out to see all of them. So we did food and wine during the day in the very Merry Christmas party started at 7 p.m. and we went on a Monday. I don't know if that matters, but I was going to talk about like how busy the park was. So, yeah, food and wine. If you don't know, because I was kind of clueless to what Epcot was, is you just there's a bunch of booths. There's normally booths at Epcot. They like my friend said they like double or triple the amount of booths, and you just eat and drink around the world, and it's so cool. Some of my favorite foods were the in Brazil, they had this cheese thing that my best friend ordered and I had a bite of, which was incredible. The poutine was great. The, I want to say it was China or Japan, I don't remember which one, had these really good chicken wontons. And it is so expensive. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, I felt like I was swiping my card for 20 bucks every 20 minutes. But it was really fun and a cool experience to do in a group. And then around 5.36, we went to France and ate at their restaurant. And from there, we got on the Sky Train, I believe, and trained over to Magic Kingdom for the event. And from there, we took a boat to Magic Kingdom. So we, we trained somewhere, and then from there, took a boat and ended up at Magic Kingdom. For a while, I was confused as to where the very merry Mickey party was at. Magic Kingdom makes sense because that is where the castle is. I was getting Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom mixed up because I'm from Arizona and I go to Disneyland where it's just California Adventures and Disneyland where here it's like 18,000 different parks that have like some of the same names and certain it's just it's a lot more confusing it really is a world <laughs> like it's very overwhelming and intimidating but so we got in at 7 p.m. when the party started because we went on a weekday I think our tickets were like 89 to 90 dollars each which isn't terrible considering like Epcot I think was 124 so very like average for what what a Disney ticket retails for and I believe the party went we left around after fireworks but I think the park was open for another hour or so after it's really cool because you walk in to it and you get this really cool band and you get to walk through and they're handing out cookies. One of the selling points of this event is you just get like free hot chocolate and free cookies and the park is a little less crowded. For example, Space Mountain took us 20 minutes to get on. However, if you were to do that ride during the day, I heard it can be upwards of a two hour wait. But Space Mountain was like Christmas themed inside of it. So it wasn't like the full Space Mountain ride. It was like, it seemed a little less scary to me. I know that Space Mountain isn't necessarily scary, 
but it is known to be one of their like scarier rides and it was like red and green in there and they were playing Christmas music and it was really cool because it was like Christmassy but also it also took 20 minutes to do it so heck yeah there was definitely a lot of crowds in the park but I think that because it was like a special event the parks were less crowded which is always a plus and honestly worth it in my opinion because 20 minutes for Space Mountain, two hours for Space Mountain. You pick. So another really cool thing is they had stages and things going on kind of throughout the entire park. I got a couple clips of us just like walking and them having like a, a reindeer trivia little show going on. We went into a restaurant and they had a singer and they had reindeers dancing and all the little kids were dancing and it was so, so cute. And kind of whenever you went down Main Street, there was always something going on. The snow, I feel like, is one of the biggest selling points of the party. They make it snow on Main Street and oh my gosh, it's so Christmassy with all the lights and all of this stuff. And oh. It was soap. I wish it was real snow, but that's just not, that's not realistic and I know that, but it definitely gave you such a cool vibe because you just walked down it and it was just snowing and it was beautiful and I loved it. And then they had their parades and stuff going. This was a little hard. I feel like this was where I saw the majority of people, which would make sense, but it was just constantly like they had a show where the castle had like stuff going on and there was people dancing on the castle and then they had their parade, which was all Christmas themed and Santa and it was so cool but really, really crowded, which would be expected, but it was definitely again just like it was such a cool experience and then the Christmas merch, of course, I could not look at it. I always am really conflicted on if I want to buy something or not because everyone always has ears and they're so cute and I have ears, but I really wanted Christmas ears. I withheld, but everyone there was dressed in some sort of Christmas attire. May it be Mickey attire, matching Christmas pajamas, Santa hats. It was just, again, I keep saying this, so cool and such a good Christmassy experience that I don't get year to year which I loved, but I did go in and record some of the merch at this point. I feel like you guys have probably seen it, but I just, I love Disney merch and especially over Christmas. It's just so cute. So I got a couple clips of the merch because we had to go into the shops on Main Street and they just had so many. And then the most incredible part, oh my gosh. So when you're in Disneyland, I've never actually stayed for the fireworks, but I mean, it's, I think it's the same in Florida. You can see the fireworks from usually where you're staying, but I've never got to fully experience Disney fireworks. And Disney World with the castle, I was in awe. Like, it was one of the prettiest things I've ever seen, so I recorded way too much of it. I'm going to show you guys right now because I'm still obsessed with the footage, and I'm just like, oh, it was magical. Oh, my gosh. I loved it. So I'm gonna let that roll without my voice because we don't want to ruin it. And then I'll be back. the sum up of what this party was. I kind of wanted to talk about it and show it because one, it's Christmassy and Britmas, but two, when I saw that this party was going on, I was really curious as to what to expect or what exactly it was because I was just like a little tourist going to Florida and I was like, what is this? So, of course I YouTubed it and I wanted to make my own video about it because I saw them and I was like, this is so cool. But yeah, you just walk around and there's Christmas music and there's snow and there's so many people 
in the Christmas spirit, dressed in Christmas stuff, and you get free cookies and free hot chocolate, and everything is just so Christmassy, and it's definitely, if you have the opportunity, something that I would recommend, because it is so much different than any other Christmas experience that I have ever done. So I would highly, highly recommend checking it out if you ever have the opportunity. I don't know if they have something like this in Disneyland. I would assume maybe, but I'm clueless, so this is only my experience but I would assume they'd be the same if they have one. I don't know, I'm not a Disney. I need to be a bigger Disney girl, okay? But that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and coming along to my quick little Disney World trip and experience. It was so incredible and I miss it so much already and I hope that it doesn't take me 24 years to get back there because I would be almost 50 and that's a really sad thought. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to come back tomorrow for the last Britmas 2019 video. Oh my gosh. Enter my giveaway. Watch the other ones if you haven't already and I will see you tomorrow. Merry Christmas Eve, boys and girls. Ah! Why did I just say that? I don't. Love you.